you found the Sharks Broadcast Podcast. Subscribe. And if you like what you hear, give us a five-star rating. Train, pretty exciting day yesterday. Seacoast Current right there on uh, the WMUR Channel 9 with uh, the governor's press conference yesterday. Yay, Kim! So cool. Uh, I thought that, you know, you know how, uh, just everything stops with the, uh, the press conferences. For you, you know, it the, does. Yes, for yes, the, yes. The, the COVID-19 updates. Yes. I just up at the edge of my seat mm-hmm. for every our, single one of them. And, our, uh, our managing news editor, yes. Kimberly Haas. Had her very first question for very, the governor. Very exciting. Yeah, there's yes. question, the question section at the end and uh, a terrific uh, question, you know, about this uh, supplement. Of course, the uh, $300 supplement is ending on June 19th here. That was a mm-hmm. big announcement. Yeah. And in place, there is a uh, stipend for those that come back into the workforce. If you are on un- unemployment and you come back in and get hired uh, for a part-time gig, you'll get a $500 stipend. If you stay uh, yeah. for, what, eight, eight weeks? Eight weeks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if it's a full-time job uh, for eight weeks, you get a $1,000 stipend. Right. Uh, yeah. So kind of interesting. You know, the, the her question was, what about, <laughs> this is what I feel like, <laughs> hey, I was work- hey, I was working the whole time. What about us who never left? Yeah. Hey. I, I, I'd like a bonus. And uh, <laughs> I think he, he, had, he had thought that uh, she meant that somebody says, well, I'm not going to get that. Who, who wants $1,000? You know, like yeah. they were rolling their eyes to $1,000. But yeah, it was, it was so cool to hear, uh, to hear a secret. Coast Current right there. Yeah. Right yeah. in mm-hmm. with that question. And uh, we are a news force. I think what the governor was trying to do is is to encourage people to fill the jobs that need to be filled. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, the business owners that I know, and I'm not talking about big business owners either. I'm talking about the bakeries, the small restaurants, you know. Yeah. The, just... It's jobs like that. You, you see, know? um, you just see uh, uh, posters up and signs up everywhere. Please help wanted. We need yeah. you. Yeah. You know? If you are yeah. a warm body with a pulse, yep. you know, is what they're saying. They really need help. So I think the governor was just trying to incentivize people to actually go to work and stay there. And if you do stay there for eight weeks, you get 500 or a thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't really? answer though the, for the people who had been here all along, which is <laughs> which was Kim's question. Yeah, but um, maybe we'll get him on the horn. There we go. See if we can answer. That. Where's my money? Hey, G O V. Hey, what's hey, what's, what's what's my? I'd like us one of them stipends. <laughs> We've got Phil Collins all the way next on the Shark. No. Intrigued. Tom nah. Brady is going to get a TV show. What is up with that? Yeah, TV executives uh, every May they have this uh, big promotional thing called the Upfronts. They didn't have them last year, but they're back uh, with them. And uh, so Fox Entertainment had their Upfronts, to which uh, the CEO himself. Is that the name of the show? Oh, Upfronts. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. So that's where they they say what's going to come up in the next TV uh, season. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So th- that's like the industry term for that big promotional. Oh, did not know. They that. have all these. You know, uh, advertisers and stuff like usually in an auditorium, and they'll just show little like, previews and trailers of upcoming shows gotcha. for the next year. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. So uh, very interesting. The CEO at the end says, and uh, for those of you that may have heard of the name Tom Brady, uh, we have a show that is currently in uh, production right now. It is uh, a non-scripted reality style show uh, in in cahoots with his uh, 199 productions, his new really? production. Oh. That wow. came out. That was announced. Uh, he's got a new, you know, uh, uh, entertainment production thing, the 199. He said it was going to be films and uh, inspiring documentaries. I love it. And I television it. shows. Oh, I love it. I love him. What he's, I, he's getting on the Oprah level. He is. That's what he I'm wondering. To change the world for the good. I'm wondering if this, because it says it's more of a reality based. This is supposed to be a reality based show. And mm-hmm. I got to think with this TB12 brand, you know, nutrition and uh, exercise. Oh, you think it might be like the biggest loser? Right? I, that's the, the right way. The hints that I'm getting is uh, that's what I'm thinking. Oh. I'd, I'd watch that. You know, especially if All he day long. if he had uh, you know little uh, cameos and stuff mm-hmm. in that, and that came out. You're talking about about two major markets now that he's huge with. I mean, in Florida, he's taken over Florida. Yeah. And now, and of course, he's got New England. So he's kind of, uh, you know, he's, he's got, got two, two, two corners. corners of America <laughs> taken down. I and mean, he's yeah. got California, right? Oh, he's that's got right. Southern California. So now he's just got, got to go to the Northwest. Yeah. He's got to do something in Seattle. Mm-hmm. And he'll be all set. And he's got it coast to coast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So be look uh, on the lookout for that one. And I'll probably start promoting it in the summer. 
uh, I would think so. It's probably launched, you know, by September, but uh, it's just still kind of mysterious. The whole network is going to be launched? Uh, or just no, just that, that Fox oh. show. You'll see it, uh, like, on the Fox network. You know, to, to, I'm sure it'll be Tom Brady Presents Tom Brady with Tom Brady. <laughs> They'll say his name about a thousand times. I'm sure they will. <laughs> Today Wednesday. is May 19. Webinars yeah. Day. Yes, uh, indeed. Welcome to the show. So, uh, Train, you discovered that the steak tips from t- the Tuckaway are absolutely foolproof. <laughs> it's not an ad, by the way. We're uh, just big fans. I know it. I was, uh, thank you so much for giving me a, a, a pound and a quarter of those amazing, their best New Hampshire house. Is that the, the name, the official name of it? I think so. I'm not sure. Yeah. But I and, got house because that's the kind that I like. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I, I just didn't want to mess them up. And you said you can't mess them up. No, so what I did. Absolutely foolproof. Took a saucepan, put them on six. That's kind of my grilling. That's um, your go to That's my go to number. <laughs> six out of ten <laughs> on, on my electric coil. And yeah, I just, I had them on for, you know, four or five minutes on one side, four or five minutes on the other. Just did that uh, two times. And then I, they're so thick that I said, you know what? I'm going to flip them over again. I'm going to turn off the burner yeah. and I'm going to let them, when they stop sizzling, yeah. you got to, one of my things with the cooking beef, you know, and let it sit. Yep. 10 yeah. minutes. Yeah, I, yeah, I have yeah. a 10 minute rule with okay. that. Good, good, I, good. From watching all these cooking shows. Yes. That's my one like thing that I do. Then oh, let they're, it rest. they're inc- incredible. They're yeah, just they're like perfectly, good. perfectly medium. Just, you know, and the <laughs> flavor was in, unbelievable. <laughs> I did, I was like, there's just so much here. I, I'll have to save some for tomorrow. There's oh, no, no way. you I, rocking them down. I mean, I, I couldn't do that. Yeah. I, it's just, a, I ate the whole know. thing. Oh, I know. It's just, it's so easy to do. <laughs> I'm right there with you. Yeah. But, uh, to my fellow, um, um, community and Raymond, time to avoid Route 27. <laughs> then here's what's trending uh all powered by ldi solutions online at ldi solutions.com while a man was found dead in northwood some suggest serial killer governor sununu offers job bonus from the state and arts venues are opening up in portsmouth that means cash flow into the new hampshire economy details on those stories and more on the free to download seacoast current app be current stay current at seacoastcurrent.com shark sports and weather coming up next 79 sunshine absolutely Ooh, yeah oh. looks like uh we may get some well-needed rain on the weekend though that's what they're saying right now who knows all right well anyway it's time for the brain strain right now your chance to win a gift certificate to sullivan tire what's your question today sullivan tire so uh yeah this is kind of a fun one back in the 1970s uh you know 90 percent of kids in new england they had this toy they had one of these now it's not as popular. Only 33% of kids have one. Really? They should really have one. They're, they're a great toy. They're a great thing to do. Uh, it yeah, must so. not be anything techie. No. <laughs> no, no. it's pretty pretty basic uh, toy. Yeah. So back it was in the, the 70s, after all. Yeah, back in the 70s, 90% of uh, kids in New England, they had this toy. Very popular then. Now it's only 33%. I've got a hint that I'm, that I'm saying, if this is a stump, i got a great hint. Okay. okay. Was it a light bright? Uh, oh no, it's not a light bright. No, um, not like a, not a board game. Uh, not clue or no, not, like, nothing like that. Shooting shoots and ladders. No, nothing like that. Like, okay, not a yo yo or a slinky. You know, but uh, just think of think of the different toys back in the seventies. Ninety percent of kids in New England had this toy. Now it's only a third of kids have this toy. What All right, it? give it a shot. Eight seven seven forty five shark. Good luck. I- it's the Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A-Train. We are playing the brain strain. Yeah, got a good one today. Got uh, kids of the 70s. You know, back in the 70s, uh, 90% of kids in New England, well, they had this toy. They loved it. Well, now, they only about uh, 33%. Only a third of kids have one of these. What is it? 877 Shark. Good morning. What's your guess? Is it the light bright? <laughs> no. no, it's not light bright. Uh, Hot Wheels? No, it wasn't a Hot Wheels. Uh, Frisbee. Ooh, it's not oh, a Frisbee. Yeah. Uh, big wheel? No, it's not the big wheel. No, no. Hey, I'm going to go with a bicycle. Nope, it's not a bicycle. Hi, is it a cap gun? No, it's not a cap gun. Uh-uh. Hello. Hello. Ooh, not a hula hoop. Oh, nope. hula hoop. Mm-mm. I thought you were saying hello. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you. All yeah. right, bye-bye. Good morning, the shark. What do you say? Jump rope. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. You got it. There it 
That's it. Yeah, apparently uh, the popularity of the jump rope from Muhammad Ali, who that was like his number one uh, exercise. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. What's your name? Beth. All right, Beth. Congrats. You win a Sullivan Tire gift card. There we go. Now, Did you have a jump rope when you were a kid? Yeah. Yeah, I got one. Uh, I remember, uh, it was funny, I remember taking it to school and uh, I remember my cousin laughing at me and then all of a sudden, like, uh, everybody was doing it and it was fine. I loved the jump rope. It was one of the very few athletic things that I could do as a child. Aha. Uh-huh. I could actually jump in, like with the two person oh, the jump dub, rope. The double dutch is unbelievable. Yes, that, that blows my mind. I don't even know how how you can do that. It's you just, just have timing. to time it. Jump, yep. jump, 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 jump. You have that, to jump in when the rope is is up top. Okay. Jump in when the rope is up top, then you jump right away. And you could spin around and twirl and stuff. No, too? I no. didn't get okay. fancy. Okay, but, but I you mean, would just, I, you know, you'd you'd go in, yeah, and then the whole thing, and then you could leave, and then I could jump out without I could getting jump hit. in and jump out without getting hit. I thought I was pretty cool. I gotta say, there's no it's way like in a the million only, years, right? It's yeah, the only one of the only athletic things I did, and then I was also able, of course, to you know spin the jump rope on either side. So I got to play with other little girls. Yep, you know, in an active thing. You know, I was very happy about that. The yeah. jump rope was was a uh, right up there, okay, along with the light bright and gnip gnip. Yep. <laughs> another another New England thing about the jump rope. You say you would uh, say Lizzie Borden took an axe. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hit her parents with 40 wax or something. What yeah. was that? Exactly. <laughs> I just remember that one. It's like, that's kind of a, that's kind of a New England only, you know, she's just right down in Fall River, you know. <laughs> that's right. We got Billy Joel coming up. Rocky <laughs> Range, just downright weird food combinations that people are very passionate about. Uh, this one just dominating, you know, all forms of social media and, uh, got it right there at our Facebook, uh, you know, question today, facebook.com slash shark morning show. Tell us your favorite strange food combinations. And, um, well, we'll start with Patricia. This one, uh, people do it. I know it's, uh, something that's picked up over the last 10 years. They're meatball subs. Yeah. They load up the meatball subs with pickles and huts. You that, meatball sub, pickles, and huts. That doesn't sound disgusting. Oh, that sounds delish. It's lovely. I remember the first time I heard of it. Uh, I went, ooh, I don't know about that one. Then I tried it. Uh, actually, Moe's, you know, does a meatball, mm-hmm. and uh, it is lovely. Oh, pickles make everything better, I think. Don't you think? I. It's funny. Off the top of my head, like, the, matching it up with, like, the beef yeah. doesn't really, um, you know, cheeseburger sub, you have it in there, sure. But uh, tomato sauce, pickles. Didn't really it doesn't work for you. I, it didn't oh. ring a bell at first. No, no, no. But it's 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 delightful. Yeah, it is. Of course, yeah. ketchup pickles on a sesame seed bun. I've been brought up on that stuff. <laughs> anyway, what else we got? Uh, uh, Patrick says Cheetos and ranch dressing. You can mix and match. Uh, I think any kind of product, uh, you know, that's. You know those little tins that they've got, and they get the different kinds of cheeses and yes. the different kind of ranch things, yep, yep, yep. and the sour cream, and those little tins. Yes. Any any one thing will go with any other thing. I think uh, this is just fresh off the presses. Uh, thanks to Ed for our uh, speedy delivery. <laughs> Apparently, this this uh, weird combination is right from Doritos themselves. They got the roulette Doritos. You got nacho cheese uh, throughout the bag, and then they they throw in uh, super hot ones. Oh, yeah. so you might. <laughs> And they look exactly the same. Yeah, That's they look hilarious. identical. So you don't know uh, what what flavor combination you're going to get until uh, you hit it there. This one I think ties into an old Yankee thing. Dennis says onion and cheese sandwich. So I'm thinking you onion sl- and cheese. That doesn't sound disgusting either. Slice These of cheese. Not disgusting. Or maybe I'll just eat anything. Maybe <laughs> that's the thing. Slice of onion. It makes me think of my dad when we have uh, baked beans. You know, it's going to be a Saturday night for the baked beans. You have the baked beans leftovers. Yeah. My dad will have a cold bean. This is what we call it, a cold bean and onion sandwich. Where you just have, you know, two pieces that of bread. That does not sound appealing to me, <laughs> Papa Lapierre. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah you oh. put, uh, that's what he'll do. He'll have uh, cold you, bean. Oh, you and, put something yeah. on it, like mustard or mayonnaise or something? Uh, I or think no? he just has the he just has the beans, like the cold baked beans with an onion ew, in that sandwich. That's and kind of that, ew. Yeah, that's it. So, I'm uh, not sure I like yeah. that. But when you have baked beans, what do you have? You have brown bread, right? So oh, it's yeah. bread. It's the same thing, I suppose. Yeah, that's true. Of course, uh, the national ones that everybody's talking about, orange juice and cereal is a new craze. Salami yeah, and Nutella. The chocolate uh, sauce, Nutella, the chocolate peanut butter sauce. Yes. Have that with salami. Have a salami sandwich with Nutella. Again, I can't knock it because I haven't tried it. Yeah. 
<laughs> mac and cheese with applesauce. Okay. No, that's that does interesting. not sound no. great. Mac and cheese with applesauce. Yeah. No, so thank you, you. Plain spaghetti, right? No, no tomato sauce in your spaghetti. You use ranch as uh, the ranch, ranch dressing. dressing. As... You know what this is? This is all out of necessity. I know. Like people are looking around their house. They got nothing. Saying, you know, I don't want to go out to the store or they've got nothing. They can't until the next paycheck or whatever. I've been there. Uh-huh. You know, you look around your house. What have you got? <laughs> yeah. I have to tell you, coming up, I have a confession to make. What I fed my son as a baby because I was out of food. Okay. And I had to come up with something. It was a, it was a combination? or it, yeah, was, yeah. it was a combination. Okay. Those were lean days. And I'll tell you about that. <laughs> On the way on the shark. I think about a time that I fed my beloved son, my one and only biological boy, a food combination that I felt like I had to do because uh-huh. I had to feed him. Yep. You know, and we didn't have, I mean, it was a rough time, rough patch in Sully's life, you know. <laughs> and, so uh, the budget uh, was a little stretched. Oh, like you wouldn't believe. Okay. So I'm looking around. I'm like, my kid's hungry. There's no, there is nothing, nothing that pulls at a mother's heartstrings more than if your child is hungry and you can't feed them. Mm-hmm. Right. So I, I mean, it, I looked around and I could always go to my mother, but you're trying to like, you know, yep. make your own way in the world. You know, so I'm not proud about it, but I used to make Jiffy blueberry muffins. You know, oh, yes. and the, they still sell Jiffy They're, muffins. That's, right? that's good. Yeah, the the mix. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good right. stuff. Well, it, Colin used to love the little uh, blueberries, which are fake blueberries. They're like little sugar things that are kind of blueberry flavored. Oh, okay, and you mix. <laughs> I've never told anybody this, like in my life, and I don't think that even Colin remembers it. So this is a big moment for me right okay. now. But anyway, the mix also had eggs in it. It has oh. a raw egg in it. Okay. Okay. So you did that that combination, uh, like a scrambled egg with the with the mix. Okay, it's like breakfast. Yeah, but I didn't cook it. Oh, it was raw. It was just, yeah. And he, cause he liked it like that. It was like, he liked it like okay. that. And it was back in the day. I grew up with Rocky, man. Yeah, that's so right. So I saw Rocky, you know, s- s- swigging down the raw eggs. Mm-hmm. And I thought, oh, this will be fine. Yeah. I've seen a few gourmet, uh, <laughs> oh. chefs prepare things with raw eggs. So it's, you know, it's nothing new under the sun. It was that. that and, uh, and yeah. it was, uh, toast. Okay. It was toast and, and raw Jiffy blueberry mix. He That's had so many <laughs> of the crucial food groups covered there. Come on. <laughs> That's that's fine. Seriously, I don't know if he liked it. So I that's... still feel guilty oh. to this day. Well, because of that, I've never I've never told anybody that. I promise you, in my life, because I was so ashamed. And my, my, I think I was married at the time. I don't even think I was alone. I think it was Colin's dad huh. who was coming home with dinner or coming home with groceries or whatever. So we just had to get through the afternoon. Yep. You know what I mean? I'm like, all right, kid, let's go. <laughs> Train track celebrity. 813, it's a Shark Morning Show. Train, you're tracking celebrities all over the place. What you got today? I know, Sinead O'Connor. Of course, uh, from Nothing Compares to You fame, that song written by Prince. Well, she's got uh, her memoirs are out. Rememberings is the name of the memoirs. Okay. And, uh, wow. I, I like, uh, actually, you know, I, I never really rip off the New York Times that much, but I like the review uh, I read there. Wow. Sinead O'Connor remembers things differently. That's, oh. the, <laughs> that's what they said. Uh, as, uh, well, she's got a, a pretty interesting recollection of meeting Prince. Apparently, you know, according to her, this is alleged. Yes. You know, he was very abusive to her verbally and then uh, uh, whacked her with some sort of weapon inside of a, no. a pillowcase. I know. And then he, uh, she tried to escape and he chased her down the highway. That's of, not true. Uh, uh, Shanae, uh, that's not true. Outside of his Hollywood mansion. So, Come on. I guess uh, it wasn't a very good meeting that she had allegedly with the uh. uh, the purple one. Yeah. Uh, I can only imagine, uh, you know, what what this uh, remembering is like. But uh, I got to think that uh, gotta, for those of you that enjoy those types of things, you're going to be entertained. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. I've been into biographies of musicians lately. Mm-hmm. And um, if it's not written with a ghostwriter or if they're not also a good writer, don't bother. Oh, because these are bad. It's a little rough. It gets really rough. Yeah, it does. But, <laughs> you know, hey, I don't know. 
Yeah, another one, a uh, big one that came down yesterday, uh, the actor Charles Grodin, 90s kids, remember him as the dad in Beethoven, those movies with the St. Bernard, uh, yes. the, 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 you know, Beethoven and then Beethoven second. Uh, yeah, he uh, was also in Heaven Can Wait. He has in a ter- terrific movies uh, with De Niro, uh, very deadpan, very funny. I always thought he was funny, you know, when he was on Letterman, he was on uh, Johnny Carson's show, he would just be very, almost like evil, he'd, be, he'd pretend he was like the... The biggest uh, jerk ever. Yes. <laughs> it's really funny as a guest like that, taking that, you know, just looking like a, a real uh, enemy type, you know, mm-hmm. real love. Uh, but he uh, passed away at the age of uh, 86. Oh, so, oh yeah. that's too bad. Yep. Uh, New you, Englanders down Connecticut. Did you hear about Gwyneth Paltrow, by the way? No. <laughs> <laughs> It's a man who bought one of her ca- uh, calendar, uh, one of her candles, and the title of the cal- candle I can't even I can't even say it on the radio. Okay, it yeah. smells like something that I'd rather not say on the radio. Okay. I should say, but some guy. Yeah, her uh, candles are very famous. Yes, well, it came from Goop, uh-huh. her website there. Well, apparently, the candle this guy in Texas lit the candle and it exploded. Whoa! Yeah. Uh, well, it may not be the candle's fault. Oh. The guy who bought it said that the candle candle was burning for three hours. Uh, so apparently he wasn't injured. It did explode and he wasn't injured. Okay. But he claims that he could have been. Oh. Are there a warning? Because I don't really get those uh, candles in the jar, the glass ones. Uh, are there warnings that you can't fire them up for longer than a couple hours? It says, you know, yeah, you should burn for three hours or less, usually, okay. on most of them. Which there is why go. he specifically said that. All right. Be careful of Gwyneth Paltrow's candles. <laughs> We've got Loverboy on the way, I'm sure. The morning show with Sarah and A-Train. It is time. Let me push the button, Train. Let's do it. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? We're the All Shark right. Morning Show with Sarah and Atrium. I'm going to try not to lose it today. Try to uh, play uh, Who Are You? It's fun, you know. You pick a celebrity. <laughs> try to figure out who that celebrity is with a few clues. You know, it's a little fun. It's okay. A little thing that we do. I've been losing it lately. Well, you just, I mean losing it. It is frustrating when you... During Who Are You? When you know the person in Who Are You, but you can't think of their name. Because there's just nothing we can do to help you other than mm. the rhymes and like That's initials. That's one of the reasons, and, yeah. yeah. Okay. What? I go first. Is <laughs> that my stinky clues? <laughs> no. Oh. Please, God, help me. Okay. All right, go ahead. All right. So uh, all this uh, week and for a while, you know, doing moms, famous moms of famous people. Uh, this is a famous son of hers. He's an actor. She's an actress. And uh, this guy, he is 40 years of age, lives in have, Los Angeles, no California. Chance. Oh, no, I, I think uh, this is a fun one because you had told me this. My learning that uh, this actor, uh, his mom was a very famous actor in the 70s. Matter of fact, she won an Oscar for her portrayal in a uh, in a boxing movie. Uh, oh, it's um, Talia Shire. Talia Shire. And I didn't her know she, son. Yeah. Is uh, uh, yep. He's um, he broke through in uh, the movie Rushmore, nineteen ninety eight. Jason Schwartzman. It is Jason Schwartzman. God. Uh, yeah, it's a miracle that I. Got I did not know Schwartz. that Talia Shire won the Oscar for being Yo Adrian. I was going to give you a Yo Adrian clue. Yeah, Talia Shire is also what's his face's sister. Yeah, I was going to say Nicholas Cage is in the mix. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Nicholas Cage is. I think he's like an uncle. He's a cousin or something. He's right in there because Francis he's a, Ford Coppola. Yeah, right? Coppola. Yep. Yeah, yeah there's so Fran- many famous Nicholas people. Nicholas Coppola is his real name, right? Yeah. Anyway, all right. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. I got it today. He's uh, he's very funny and talented. Nicholas Jason, Cage. Jason Schwartzman. Oh, too. Jason Schwartzman's yeah. a riot. Yeah. He's really really funny. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this guy. I'm not sure you're going to get this guy, but it's his birthday today. Uh, he is a drummer. He dr- he was the drummer from uh, 1975 to 1983, and then again from 94 to 2015 for this very popular band. We play this band on the Shark. Um, <laughs> he was the drummer until he got arrested for drug Uh-oh. possession Whoa. and trying to have someone murdered. Ay ay ay. Do you remember? Yeah, um I think uh, he's Australian, right? This guy uh Could be. Uh is it uh yes. Rudd? Yes. Phil Rudd. Phil Rudd, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah.
Yep. Yeah, I think, yes. uh, you know, when we talk about uh, the, the darker side of rock and roll, you know, if you want to do a podcast on that or perhaps write a book or something, I think Phil Rudd will have a chapter oh, and a half. Yeah. He was yeah. fired in 83 from ACDC because he got into a fight with Malcolm Young. Uh-huh. <laughs> They're like, you're out. Wow. I didn't know that. Get Chris Slade huh. instead. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Wow, that's something. There you go. Huh. Happy birthday to you, Phil. He turned 67 years old today. You, just can't, to I'm, I'm Malcolm. you just can't punch me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> if it's your birthday today, happy birthday to you, too. The Eurythmics coming up. Hey, it does go with the topic that we were just talking about. Yeah. Women who let it all hang out. Yeah, we got to. Uh, let you make up your own mind about that. I think that's becoming a fashion trend for this summer. <laughs> I think so, This is a uh, very low-cut uh, yes. blouses and yeah, things. Yeah, I, for know. one, am offended. <laughs> and by offended, he means a big fan. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, what was your favorite part of today so far, Train? It was fun uh, just uh, hearing people's passion for their weird flavor combinations. We had, uh, you know, Facebook lit right up. I got the Shark app, Messenger lit right up with a bunch of weird... Weird uh, food combinations. People have a passion for their weird stuff. True. Very, very true. I was happy to hear that you uh, made your tips and you ate them and they were delicious. Oh, thank you so much. Those were amazing. And I was afraid for many years that I could probably mess them up. You can't mess them up. No, no, you can't. They're very, very good. Uh, Coming up next, we've got three hours of commercial free classic hits. We like to call it the Workday Kickoff. Almost three hours. You know why we call it the kickoff? See, uh, because we kicked off a whole day's worth of the 40-minute blocks of those amazing uh, stretches of music. <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, b- 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 George Michael. <laughs> Coming up next. Live from the Seacoast. Hi, this is David.